into trouble. Whoa! And don't it feel good? Let's get underway. My brain gets really like full with financial worries. I've currently got like £90 in my bank account and I've had to pay £6 for parking today. I've been trying to write. I know I need to raise six grand. I need to finish the play ASAP and the fundraising. Currently the Arts Council funding hasn't come in yet, but I've realised we're going to have 25 shows with the Edinburgh run and the live theatre run. And I've never done 25 shows, scary stuff, but exciting stuff. And it only feels uncomfortable because you're growing and progressing. And that's what I'm telling myself. I lose the plot, I think. Truth time. I've written four pages this week. That's not good. But I have secured a PR person. Got a meeting with the producer today. Checked and rechecked the short and long copy. Had it approved by the Pleasants and the Fringe brochure. I've also reformatted the poster. I've got one box to reformat the poster for me. Put the Arts Council logo on. I've created a Facebook page, an Instagram, a Twitter. I've just uploaded to Instagram that we got funding, which is exciting. And I've created like an Insta story. So I've done all my producer things that were necessary for this week. I've had a fundraising meeting. That's all set to go ahead on Monday. The only thing is I've got to pay £893 on the 20th for my deposit to do the show and well my guarantee sorry because I've already paid a deposit of 393 and put that on my credit card I already had quite a bit of money on my credit card so stress and I'm gonna go and meet Allegra for a coffee here comes a writing montage ready <laughs> I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so I got some advice from Laura to book myself into a premier in for two nights, three days. I've done just that. I came with up to here and now I've done all this from up to here. I'm feeling much more confident than on the previous <laughs> videos. So just thought I'd come back and say that and oh, I can't wait to come back and tell you that I'm done. Pints, Chris? Yay or nay? Offer still stands. <laughs> finished the play. 
Drop two. Hi. <laughs> so, we thought we'd summarise the writing process. So it's not just me in my bedroom or a hotel room going, I think I've written a play. Um, it's also talking to you and you going, this is shit. <laughs> I never said that. No, so... I thought it, no, I didn't. <laughs> so I wrote a play and I found out it was actually three plays. Um, so then we met up and read it with Laura, our dramaturg. And then Laura was like, you just need to splurge all of your ideas. So, um, so then three plays became six plays. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so she splurged the ideas. Mm -hmm. And then we showed that to Laura, the dramaturg, and she said, no, 6,000 words is one play. And we were like, oh, we've got how many? 18,000. So we cut it. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut. And then you made new bits. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. And then I had a phone call with Laura, and she was like, these bits are great. Have a think about this. Maybe write a letter to your body. <laughs> Best part of the entire play. <laughs> Thanks, Laura, for that writing task. And then we met up, and we've started rehearsing. It's week one of rehearsals, and we started getting it up and went, ah, oh, it doesn't work, actually. So then we sat down, cut some bits, rewrite some bits, get up to the next bit. That works really well. We great. moved lots of bits. We're like, oh, that scene should be there. That scene should be cut in half, and then half should be there, and half should be there. Did lots of that business. Yeah. And then rewrote the end, and it's great. Brilliant. Draft five. Gonna that's the end because it's new. <laughs> so we're gonna type that up tonight. And then we found out that we're at any volume. Had an interview ages ago, but it's real. It's happening. And we're also in the fabulous Narc magazine. So that's exciting. Only one page in Narc magazine. It's okay. We'll let you off Narc magazine. And then we had a production meeting. And all of my favourite people on Zoom and in person going, I'm doing this and I'm doing this. It's all going to be fabulous. And me going, great, I'm going to not do anything anymore. You carry on. And then, yeah. And then we read the draft and I cried. Because it's really good. You should come see this. It's going to be really good. Why do we do great? Why?